Welcome back to another episode of Death Farms. Today, we're talking about birthing. That's what's going on today on today's episode. you had lambs four or five hours ago this one just had them and we have another set being born yep. rocking them in we got two that had them a few days ago these are all the older ones about 10 o'clock fun on the farm it's first in history of having three well as far as me and my brother doing this having three lambs three used lambing at once or on the same day so it's pretty exciting That's just an extra bucket. Her water is right there. What? Yep. She had a single big lamb. Came out and checked and found out there was another one lambing. She had twins. She had another baby. Pretty cool. Probably gonna have another one. She has a water backside that popped. I will put in a warning so YouTube doesn't flag this video. If you're squeamish with blood and everything like that and reproductive parts, you were warned in the beginning of the video. Yeah, he was the first. He or she was the first one to be born. It was a big one. And the second one. This is the first she was born. First of the day. She was second. Around like 9 30. She had twins. This is one of mine. There's this one. She had single for eight now. Well, I check her in a few hours or in the morning and see what she has we may think there's another you out there that have that will have one in the morning but we don't know quite yet but hopefully everything goes good it's been a couple days more like a week from the last clip we have had Numerous more ewes and lambs. We put out a couple. The hardships of running a farm. Everyone's gonna have it. You see it, Sandy Brock, all these people that have them. Is that lambs and things, just nature takes its course. We had a ewe, she had twins. And a few hours later, she had two more sets. So until she had four, but two of them didn't make it uh, with that. And we did have another, my other you, which is, she's over, over on this side. She, she had triplets, one didn't make it, just when it was born, something from the, 
utero cavity and everything like that is just just made it complications and stuff like that but that's the hardships of farming but everyone has been good and i'll show you here we had a surprise one of our ewes well mine actually out, out of everything we have a ram that's black obviously you can tell black it's what we have but something special with this ewe her lamb it's a ram we have never had last time we had white face lambs obviously we have that use though that's the oldest one that's been here she's probably at least seven or eight years old she's the last of the white face sheep we have had her and her twin her twin passed away last year due to compl uh just issues old age and everything like that trying to support twin lambs just don't well i'll show you what this you had so obviously a better picture of all these lambs they're all pretty much white or black black faces black socks everything like that we got a we got a special one he's got a little bit of a respiratory issue he's been treated but out of all the years this is what she had this is the mom she had a ram lamb last year he's still around uh this is the only you out of everything that actually has a name her name's clover she was a bottle fed lamb kept her her son her ram lamb last year his name's chive we were going to keep him now my fiance this year named this one shallot Pretty cool, unique designs. We're probably going to keep him as a breeding ram. He's very small for just being a single. But he, he's an adorable little guy. You can kind of see right there is where he's actually growing a little bit of horns for being actually two days old. Two, three days old and it's all these ones are really skittish but um these are all my brothers use with yellow ear tags and this one's my oldest you the white ones are mine she's the one that had the quads and only two of them made it she was the one that had triplets she had triplets last year they all survived off of her which is rare for us normally we have to bought a few two of them but she made three of them she held on to three and she had enough milk to support all three of them the two bigger ones this one right here this bad boy and that one this one right here, this white one, came from her. She had a black one, like that, who passed. That was the one that had complications. But these are all the lambs so far. Then we have last year's lambs out in the pasture. We, are, uh, we thought they weren't bred, and we were going to get rid of them. But the ram lambs of last year that we didn't, band or get rid of bred them and that's what caused her to have this one don't mind all this or this is what we got to make deal with so people in the comments and everything like that don't come for us we're not we're not a highly fit highly equipped operation this is just what we have been doing for several years even with my dad just we actually have them underneath shelter and we're actually able to keep them pretty well clean I mean there's no wetness in this pen 
everything, they're all pretty well good. They like to go in the corners. If you're wondering about this, if you go back in my old videos right here, used to be where we had pigs and you'll find there's a baby piglet video. It's about two minutes long. And this is where we had them at. Hence why we have cattle panels and stuff on the, on there because they were busting them. We had a boar bust up, bust this two by four here, everything like that. So we just left that there. So none of the lambs could fit behind that cattle panel and get stuck. But everything else should be good. But I just wanted to end this video as well on top of everything and just say thank you for everything. And I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can just so then I can po post more content. I know I haven't been doing it in a while just because I have a full-time job. My brother has a full-time job. We would love to do this stuff full-time. I would love to post more content. It's just very hard with our type of situation and operation. And I'm getting married, so it's all this situation is going through. But with that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll just see you on the next one. All right? See ya.